Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of F1 2014 career mode here on the channel. We are headed into the Japanese Grand Prix today and we have only five Grand Prix remaining to try and get a win here in F1 2014. Time is running out. We've been really close recently but Lewis Hamilton has just been unbeatable now as we continue the fight for second place in the championship. Let's see what we can do in Suzuka. Ready to qualify then here from Suzuka now as this track brought us lots of success in F1 2013. So I'm really hoping we can uh, bring that here into F1 2014. My goodness, I'm not used to it being just completely flat through there again as we come through these first few corners. We're on the white stripes here uh, as we head through one of the iconic parts of not really Suzuka, but in my opinion, the F1 calendar in general, the S's section. I just love rolling through here so much now. It's a lot of fun. As you can see right there, struggling a little bit compared to Seb, who's just able to grip up. But overall, as we approach the end of Sector 1, pretty happy with the pace that we have in this car. Hamilton's going to get it slowed down. Of course, we are used to Hamilton just pure dominance this season. But I like the lap we're having. I'm a little bit concerned about this hairpin, however, now. As we know, uh, grip is where the AI always kind of get us here in qualifying. And you can see right there, the car just slips and slides around uh, way more than the AI car will. So uh, we now have to try and close that gap back up to Lewis. But overall, I mean, aside from that, it's been a pretty solid lap. But I mean, half the gap we have lost in this lap has just been in that hairpin uh, alone. But overall, it's going to look pretty good here. Now we still have to get through, of course, the final chicane. And that's going to be hard to get some grip as well. But let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. After the exit of 130R, get down to about second gear. Now Hamilton is going to round these final corners. I'm pretty happy with that. It could have been worse, could have been better. It's trying to get the throttle up there now. It's going to be a little bit slow to the line, but oh my goodness, we're in the top 10. I don't know if we've done that this season. I really don't know. I'm really hoping, though, it's not going to rain because if it rains here in Suzuka like it loves to do, nothing matters and we're going to have the worst weekend of our life. Oh, brother, 58% chance of rain. So from the sounds of it, it's going to rain at some point throughout this race, which means we need to get after it as quick as possible and, and see what we can do now as we are ready to go lights out here. 13 laps of racing here from Suzuka Circuit here for the Japanese Grand Prix. It's going to be five red lights. And here we go. Now I'm expecting the car to be a little bit slow off the launch here as it usually is now as we compare ourselves to the rest of these drivers around us now as I'm going to go defensive to the right side of the circuit. Now we're three wide as now, oh, I was trying to squeeze into that hole right there. Bontas closes the door. Ricardo really struggling early on as now it's just really patience and wait for things to, of course, open up here now and, and the opportunity to get get past Bontas was right there and we do it so up into P8 let's see if we can use this S's section to try and maybe gain one more position I don't think it's going to happen now Ricardo's just doing a good job here and now Bontas is actually putting a lot of pressure on me uh, as oh I'm going to wash out way wide the car just did not rotate at all it did not turn whatsoever right there so we're going to have to settle in to that eighth position for now but I'm confident in the abilities of this car. The big question, of course, is just what's the situation going to be uh, when it comes to uh, rain and, and whatnot here today. Now I'm gonna go way deep there into that hairpin, but that's gonna be okay. We still get a good exit. And now coming to the end of lap one here from Suzuka. And yeah, P8 still. I'm struggling to get right to the back of Danny Rick now, but we complete this opening lap. Oh, 10 minutes is what we have to work with here. We need to try and basically be leading this Grand Prix in 10 minutes time. Uh, otherwise, there's zero chance we win as I am really struggling for whatever reason for grip compared to qualifying. Now, usually qualifying is where we are struggling the most for uh, grip compared to the AI. Uh, and we still struggle, of course, in the Grand Prix, but I am feeling a lot worse in the race right now uh, than I was in the actual qualifying. And again, right here, just can't turn like I could in qualifying. The car honestly feels nothing like it did in quality. I'm going to send it here on Ricardo, though. We got a good run uh, up the elevation now. He's going to leave himself vulnerable. Here we go. A huge dive up the inside, but yet we keep it clean. Avoid contact. Ricardo, though, gets a good exit. Just can't quite get that grip now as he's going to try and power back through in that Mercedes as we now swing back to the right side. What's Ricardo going to do? He goes defensive now. Hold on a second. I'm going to really get aggressive wheel to wheel. Nearly contact, but we do avoid it now. There's a little bit of contact there. I'm really driving aggressive 
aggressively trying to get that first win here in the F1 career mode uh, for 2014. But to P7 we go. A little bit too aggressive, in my opinion, on Danny Rick right there. So we need to clean it up. Bontas is going to try and go alongside into 130R. He's going to back out of it. Oh, my goodness. That was nearly big back there. And that's kind of similar to what we see from the AI, even in the current F1 game, where into 130R, they'll really they'll, they'll try to force the issue, and it won't work. And then they'll back out and just slam on that brake pedal. It looks like there's a yellow on track somewhere. No safety car, though. It's already back green as we continue to slip and slide around this circuit. We actually got through there for the first time this race pretty well, and we're closing in on Felipe Massa pretty quick. Now, as we go a little bit wide, we'll get down to third gear and hard on that gas. My goodness, this car is just slipping everywhere right now. Here we go then with a big run on Massa now. Actually, we're going to catch him at a really awkward point right at the beginning of 130R. We'll swing to the left side of the circuit. Here we go for a nice little overtake. Actually, I think we just had a little bit of contact right there. Not a lot of room between us, but we'll clear him into the chicane. Nonetheless, we'll move through into sixth place. We might be a little bit vulnerable here due to the DRS that he is going to have. So I'm going to go to the right side of the circuit where... Two seconds behind uh, the cars in front that look like they're battling it out, which is, of course, perfect for us. But Hamilton, as usual, driving away pretty comfortably right now, which is not what we like to see. And, and I'm just confused uh, a little bit by the lack of pace that we have in the Grand Prix. You know, usually the higher we qualify, the higher expectations we have. Uh, but I feel like I have less pace here after a really good qualifying effort compared to some of the recent qualifying efforts that have not been so good. And then we show up in the Grand Prix and perform significantly better we have a battle up there in front of us into 130r kevin magnuson nearly contact right there that's going to leave him wide open for the taking now that's jensen button actually right there that we're going to pass so we'll go through there on one mclaren trying to get the next one the two teammates going at it and not helping each other whatsoever now is i'm not sure if we're going to have drs quite here five minutes till late rain so that tells me today is not going to be our day uh, unfortunately now it's just uh it is what it is as we're right to the back of Magnuson now he's going to be parking the bus this whole S's section and we could get past him and of course be making some headway but it's just going to be so hard to actually complete this overtake now uh, as we continue to follow him through this first and opening sector my goodness this car is really starting to slip and slide now uh, as I'm as well hoping if we if we look at the pit window as we try to keep the car on the racetrack lap six and five minutes to rain we are not going to pit. We're going to stay out and, and, and test our luck and, and see if we can maybe get a little bit of fortune coming our way. Look at the run. Look at the run again into 130R on Magnuson. This time, though, I'm going for it up the inside we go. And is he going to back out of it? I mean, kind of <laughs> enough for me to go through and take the position, of course, now as we go into the chicane. So uh, that'll put us through now into the fourth position, Seb, and then Alonzo, uh, and then, of course, our teammate of Lewis Hamilton, the remaining cars to pass. The pace is, is really interesting. It's like we're working our way forward. We're 4.3 seconds behind Vettel uh, and Alonzo, who are right there together, but it just doesn't feel like the pace is, of course, there to win the race this time. Uh, but like I said, the pit window is now open, but the rain is just a couple of minutes out, so I, I feel like it would be extremely silly to pit, and I'm really hoping that the AI come in here and we can maybe outsmart them a little bit to try and get this opportunity to win this Grand Prix. But of course, only time is going to tell here as we continue to struggle through that corner every single lap. I expect a big moment of truth here, uh, depending on the AI strategy. They're pitting. They are coming in. Vettel, Alonso into the pit. So they are going to make a switch to another set of dry compound tires. So if we can stay on a dry track for this lap, Hamilton's going to box. He'll put on, of course, dry tires. And then at that point, I mean, this changes everything. Hamilton has such a gap, though, that if he was to come in and put on dries and then come in, of course, again and make an additional pit stop compared to our only one pit stop, I think he'd still have a chance to take this Grand Prix victory uh, away from me. So it's going to be really interesting to let this thing play out. But my goodness, it's, it's crazy how bad this car is driving in the Grand Prix compared to what I felt in qualifying. I'm starting to see a little bit of rain starting to fall here. And Hamilton had a 13 second gap on me at the start or at the end of sector one. And I imagine it's going to grow here because I'm continuing to struggle. And actually, Ricardo is starting to close in now. So I'm really hoping we see Hamilton pit this lap, however. Now 14 seconds to Hamilton. I'm going to risk it. We're going to stay out. I'm here fighting for wins at this point, And we don't have the pace to beat Hamilton straight up today. 
Uh, so we need strategy. He's already exiting the pits. So th this is not what you want to see, of course, if you're me. We just really need to hope that rain comes down uh, harder and quicker because we have, of course, not a lot of laps to go. And Hamilton's on fresh, dry rubber. He's going to be absolutely flying here compared to myself, who's going to be really, really struggling. So the goal is for it to, of course, keep myself out in front uh, until we get to the switchover point, which I am a little bit concerned about here uh, as it's barely sprinkling right now. Our gap to Hamilton has closed about one second in one sector. So that kind of gives you the situation now. Hamilton is very quick compared to myself. Look at my rear tires right now. It does not look the best, that's for sure. Hamilton, let's see, can he go from five to four seconds? I hope not. The gap, 5.2. I'm getting a warning about the tires now, <laughs> and we're approaching decision points. Do we come in for dries, or do we risk it and throw on an inter? It's it's clearly not raining enough, nor is the track even close to being damp right now uh, to be warranting going on to a wetter tire. So, I don't know. Do we stick it up one more lap and just see if there's any hope of this rain getting worse, or do we just come in now? The rain's certainly coming down more than it was just one lap ago, but the gap is significantly reducing. I am struggling, hanging on for my life. We're going to lose a lot of track position no matter what at this point. So I say, I mean, we might as well just stick it out for one more lap and just see what happens here. But I am struggling so much for grip right now, as expected. Hamilton's going to get within the two-second bracket here within another sector. It's going to be game on. Hamilton is here. It is what it is. It wasn't quite meant to be in terms of strategy today uh, as we round these final few corners in sector two. And I mean, you see the rain. Am I seeing some spray? Am I seeing some spray? I think I am. That's that's a little bit of hope right there. I'm going to say we're going to do it. We're going to go on to the inter and, and just hope for a miracle, basically. Now, I think we're going to... I mean, Hamilton's here. Hamilton's here. We might as well box right now. The track it doesn't look damp, but I'm seeing tire spray, which gives me at least a little bit of hope that we would be making the right call going on to this intermediate compound tire. Hamilton right on us now. I am slipping and sliding like crazy in front of him, trying to not wreck this car. It is horrendous. We held on a lot longer than I thought we would. Rule reminder, yes, I know we are coming in to put on the inters now. Uh, it says must use prime tires, so that's a bit concerning. Um, we need this track to be deemed wet before the end of the race, actually, uh, to make sure we're safe on the rules. But there goes Alonzo. There goes Vettel. I'm already seeing spray coming off of these inters, so that there's a little bit of hope here. Now, there goes Ricardo. I mean, even if it's wet... I don't think there's enough time to run down Lewis Hamilton, even if we have the advantage. So it is what it is there. My goodness, I wasn't ready for that. That's a car. That's Massa. But let's see what the situation is going to be now. Give me about uh, half a sector and I'll have an idea if these inters are going to be the right tire. It looks like just based off of a couple of corners, we're right in that transitional period to being on the right tire. But the gap to Hamilton is so massive that that's just not going to be possible in two laps time. Uh, unless, of course, we see a dramatic fall-off coming to two laps to go in the track conditions. We have a run. We have a run on Jensen Button here down towards 130R. I'm going to go up the inside. We'll take the position from him. Now, is he going to back out of it? No, but I'm able to keep it full beans, full pinned right there as we head down into the braking zone. I mean, oh my goodness. Another race where it's just like really interesting it, it, we never had the pace for hamilton today so it's like you can't really be disappointed about losing but i mean anytime you're leading a grand prix and have to give up that lead it's it sucks uh but three and a half seconds of ricardo uh hamilton's already ending sector one just about and the track is still not deemed to be wet but i mean from what i am seeing i think ricardo just had a moment actually and now his gap has been significantly reduced to me and we are definitely on the right tire i feel like at this point in time it's just still not drastic enough to where the pace is going to fall off enough to where hamilton's going to actually lose uh the victory here and drs has not been quite disabled yet which is not what I want to see. I'm not sure what the rule situation is now uh, that I've switched on to an inter, uh, but nonetheless, we are closing in quickly on Daniel Ricardo here. And if we can roll through these couple of corners there, not what I want to do there, but if we can really roll up this hill, I'm going to go for it here into the hairpin. I'm saying, hey, I got to go. And we're going for the move now. And there we go. Job done. I'm already clear. So we'll take the position and we can at least definitely get second place here still. One lap to go. And Suzuka, we need something biblical really to happen here to beat Lewis Hamilton. He is already heading through the S's there. We've gained some time, obviously, as expected, but obviously the gap is just 
too much to actually go and run him down as we're going to go through in a second we've clearly made the right call today i mean we definitely made the right call it's just hamilton's pace is unbelievable we didn't we didn't do anything wrong today um we drove good put in good lap times it just wasn't quite enough for us here uh to match what lewis hamilton's capabilities were in the other uh mercedes alongside us so it's really unfortunate uh but i mean i'm happy with the race that we've put together here nine seconds now to lewis i mean if he loses another seven that'd be pretty nice really quick but yeah it's just not going to happen now as he's already going through the hairpin hold on a second hold on a second uh it's a shame we don't have more corners left hamilton's losing a good bit of time here but it's just not gonna be enough because we got such a long straightaway to where he's just gonna be able to light it up and go there he goes oh that's gonna this is gonna hurt this is gonna hurt we are closing in at a rapid pace on this final lap and he's gonna get it he is just far ahead enough to where we're gonna come up short again this might be the most heartbreaking one yet we made all the right calls and it we're gonna come up just short of Lewis Hamilton five seconds a gap again four seconds in one sector and unfortunately it's just pure straightaway oh my goodness Lewis Hamilton is gonna get the job done and look how close we're gonna be on the final lap Hamilton wins it one more lap half a lap is all we needed oh my goodness I'm not even disappointed at the same time we did nothing wrong in this episode we were on it the whole weekend we did a great job managing tires it just wasn't meant to be lewis hamilton beats us by 1.9 seconds in the end and I, I look back at it and say well where could i have have i have i found 1.9 seconds through this race and i don't think i could have uh i don't think i could have found that time anywhere we ran that good of a race it's just unfortunate <laughs> if, if the rain would have come down one lap earlier it would have been a, a total different situation we move into p3 in the standings but obviously that's the closest we have been yet to winning we made all the right calls today it's just hamilton's pace was so so good in the dry it allowed him to just hang on barely at the end my goodness we are at basically a full season without a win in the f1 year by year game series i think coda is next which would be i believe the location where we did get our last win i could be wrong uh but nonetheless i'll see you guys in the next episode where hopefully that win which seems to be getting closer every episode finally comes to us